Hey guys, I just wanted to show you how I have my Nord Stage 3 set up. Um, it's pretty awesome. I, uh, I'm in love with this thing. Um, but I just wanted to show you how I set this up just in case it may help you um, just kind of have your pre have your uh, presets ready to go as far as like standard pianos, uh, roads, uh, different sounds like that and the pads and so anyway um, so I've got these first five presets first one's grand piano so when I turn it on I know it's just gonna go to piano then I have the upright piano as the next setting I'll show you why because I know you can change it with this and but this is just a really cool workflow um, so upright then a Rhodes and a Whirly and then just like a synth lead um, but you'll notice both of these panels the first panel is the piano and then the panel B is the soft pad the preset one that they have in here which sounds pretty awesome um, but I have that mapped to the uh, Yamaha volume pedal control pedal whatever that's called um, and then the frequency knob for the frequency or the wheel for the frequency knob so what's cool about that is that whatever preset I'm in within these five presets how I have it set up I have the same same pad in there and so what I'll show you I'll show you this real quick so I'm in grand piano I'm gonna start playing no pad, it's just piano. And with this volume pedal, I'm able to just fade in the pad when I want it. Take it away when I want it. And also with the frequency. So what's cool about this is let's say I'm playing piano and I'm in this pad and with the addition to seamless transitions which I just have to say they're amazing and it's about time um, so I could switch this program for let's say roads you notice the pad didn't change it stayed in its state that it's in across presets so when I play again, all that changes is the Rhodes sound. I can fade this in and out. And across presets, it just remembers where that pad is. Which is pretty cool. Because it won't just cut out the sound when I change presets or start it at a lower volume or a different frequency. It's just literally seamless which is pretty awesome and then I can at any time bring in these effects fade that pad out so you can hear it that trim effect that's on there and I have everything um, set to master click so that uh, across all these presets so that when I have let's say like the NPC live or some other thing that's sending MIDI clock like Ableton that it will sync up to whatever I'm playing I don't have to tap I don't have to think is this set to master click I can just play and so that's how I have my first five presets set up on the Nord stage three and then past that I have um, like different songs, I haven't programmed it fully, but this is one of my songs that I've written. Um, so like, preset six is the intro, verse, verse B, it introduces like another type of melody, and a chorus, and a bridge. And so, and what's cool about the seamless transitions with this is that you don't hear a break in the sound at all, it's just, seamless and another thing that's cool about this I'm sure you guys know this but like with song mode that's on this particular model now let's say I'm 
deep into the board somewhere into the Nord. If I hit song mode, I can program this to be whatever I want. And so here's 1984, here's that song. So what's really cool is I could click that and then hit song mode again and I'm there, ready to go for my song, which is awesome. So how I'm gonna have this fully set up is all program one through five will be my standard piano sounds, road sounds, um, the synth lead sound that I have programmed in there ready to go. And then every other preset in groups of five will be my songs. Um, so like here I have all of me, always something to, to remind me to beat it. Um, so it's just a cool way to set it up and I just wanted to share that with you uh, if, just in case that helps your workflow and your organization and it truly has helped me and it's a really cool feature to, to just hear that pad just carry through those presets without cutting out. So if you have any questions setting this up, let me know. Um, it's pretty pretty easy, but you just have to make sure that, that these programs, these presets are all the same. And what I did was just copy the first one, paste it over, and then change the piano to an upright, relabeled it upright. That way I knew all the pads, everything stayed the same. So, all right, there you go.